see, we know that uh, what's going on in uh, Nigeria for right now is about uh, the hot, hotter story. It's about the Nigerian uh, 2023 pres presidential election. Okay. So what's your what's your view of, of on the candidates and uh, the reaction of uh, the Nigerian electorate? <clears throat> Thanks for that question. Um, my view is that uh, number one, if the election holds, I I I am sincerely um, concerned. Really? It is likely. It is likely. It's going to hold, but with the developments of what's going on in Nigeria today, right? It's concerning, to be honest, because when you look at what's just happened in the past month, mm. you know, with what the terrorists, the bandits, and all of these people have been doing, you know, all the attacks from Owo to Katsina to Kaduna, now to Abuja to Shinoro, mm. all the activities of the bandits. It's like it's falling into um, the, the, the warnings by, you know, some Nigerians who think that this is part of the plan, all right, mm. to, to <laughs> hand over Nigeria to terrorists or to ISWA, for Fulanization or Islamization, however you want to put it. So that's a concern. It's not necessarily about Igbo or Inambi Kanu that we stop the elections from taking place. However, having said that, um, in my view, all right, Bola Tinumbu, I believe, is a good man manager. All right? I believe he, you know, he has what it takes to lead Nigeria. However, the concern is about, for me and many Nigerians, it's about his age. Um, it's about his health. Not necessarily the age, but the health. Is this man healthy? As we speak, he's in France. What he's, doing is, what he's doing in France, no one knows. There was this rumor that he traveled to France after he collapsed. You know, collapse sometimes, not necessarily means whatever. Maybe you're tired and it's just... However, there's that concern. There's this um, issue about his... Um, uh, his uh, identity. We're not really sure who he is. You know, his primary school, his secondary school, the way he went to Chicago, to America. You know, some said he was involved in drugs and all of this. The totality of this is not good for Nigeria. How would we have a president who has all this baggage uh, on him that nobody really knows? If indeed he was involved in drugs in America, do you think Joe Biden would want to stand shoulder to shoulder with him on a world stage, being the American president? The Americans that I know, I don't think that would happen. Do you think Joe Biden will invite him to White House and stand side by side and give world conference? I mean, um, press press conference. I don't. There's there's a lot to this that meets the eye. Mm. So you know, there's so much that hangs around to do. For me, that I will tilt to another candidate, right? Um, <clears throat> but, you know, that's just in a nutshell. There's so much. When you look at him again, all right, he sold us Buhari. Look at the Buhari administration, the nepotism that is there that, like, we've never seen before, the corruption, the ethnic jingoism the insecurity, the decimation of our economy, and the list goes on. The decimation of the middle class in Nigeria. You know, nothing works. Electricity. So when you are saying you, 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 you are a good, um, um, a good politician or a good leader who identifies brilliant people to work for you. You're the one who identified Buhari and sold him to us. Look at where we are now. Terrorism everywhere. 
no one is safe. You can't travel on the roads. You can't travel on the air. You feel the air. You can't travel on the train. You know, you can't really do much. Now you are, you are even afraid when you are at home. People living in the Kuja prison will tell you that. Those that have been killed in their churches will tell you that. Those are so, there's so much about Tinubu that I would say for him to just sit back and go enjoy, you know, and continue to be a kingmaker. However, it's not down to me. Now, going to Atiku. For me, Atiku is a man tainted with corruption. Um, however, even Tinubu's source of wealth, no one knows. The man is ex extremely wealthy. His source of wealth, no one knows. Same as Atiku. Atiku's source of wealth, some, well, where he started off was at the customs. We all know how it is at the customs in Nigeria. You know, even Obasanjo accused him of, of, of corruption. You know, and so when you look at that, and the man has tried over and over and over and over and over and over again. What else does he want? What has he got to take us to, you know, to the next um, next level in Nigeria? I tell you what, Atiku doesn't have what he takes. Most really? of these people, they are, they are, Atiku is, is for me, he is someone who, I, I think, and in fact, not that I think, that I know is an analog guy. Most of these leaders, of all these politicians that are old, they are analog people. Tinumbu can actually do stuff. We live in a, in, in, in a fast world now, in a technical world, in an e-world. Everything is online. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Um, so we, we don't need analog leaders again. Atiku has failed many times. So what else does he want? And Atiku has been living in Dubai for the past five years. Really? Five to six years, yes. As we speak, he's still in Dubai. This is someone who wants to come and lead Nigeria, who lives in Dubai. That shows that this man is not patriotic enough. You don't even know what is what obtains in Nigeria. You don't know the sufferings of the masses. You don't know what's going on. You are not patriotic enough to live in a country you want to leave. How come? You know, mm -hmm. so uh, most of his investments are in, are in Dubai. He has huge and massive investments in Dubai. So when you become president, What's going to be your number one? What's going to be your focus? We already know. It's going to be about his business. Whatever Dubai tells him to do, he wants to do because his interest is in Dubai. So Dubai will be the one leading Nigeria by proxy because they can mess his businesses up there. You know, they can say, okay, we are going to tax you to death or we are going to, you know, okay, if you don't do this, we are going to investigate your wealth. We are going to do this and the other. You understand what I'm saying? So we have to really sit back and think what we are, what do we want to do? What do we want for Nigeria? So that brings me to the only candidate that I think has the, you know, can actually stand toe to toe with the two I've mentioned is Obi. I don't have anything bad that I can say about him. I don't have anything on, you know, that is that negative that I can say about him. I've listened to this man. He's speaking to Nigerians. He's talking about our problems. He's talking about the economy. He's talking about education. He's talking about, that's why people are listening to him. That's why he's endearing himself to the youth. The youth are tired of APC and PPP. Because they are one. Politicians will move from APC, they move to PDP. Because they can't get what they want in the APC. So now, if, if PDP is not you know, getting them what they want to get, they move back. That is nothing like, say, I have a policy or a principle. It's all about them. It's all about what they want. So they're back and forth and back and forth. APC chairman now used to be a PDP stalwart. 
the when, when it comes to that, when it comes to that, Obi himself just resigned from the PDP. Okay. Now, when it, see, I would I would tell the truth. I don't know enough about Nigerian politicians. In fact, I I don't know enough about politicians as a whole. Okay, uh, that's why I brought you a a a political blogger. Okay, so you know all these things. Me, I don't know these guys. Okay, yes, I know them. I know them by name, but I don't know anything about them. Now. Yes, I have I have my issue with the age of uh, Ashwaju, mm -hmm. okay, and I am not comfortable with the shaking I see whenever he's on his on, on the stage to give his speech. <laughs> In fact, I I just laugh, you know, because. I ask myself, what is so important about the presidency that Nigerians are struggling to be there? Because just like uh, Buhari, how many times have we cont did he contest before he finally won? Okay. It's as if there's something on that seat that people are struggling and are willing to die to get there. Yet, when they get there, they haven't done anything to move Nigeria forward. 